Welcome back to Age of Mythology Extended Edition, everyone. Today, we're gonna start up the Chinese campaign, and, uh... Yeah, this campaign isn't that great. Honestly, but let's just, let's just go. Yeah, the Chinese faction was added kind of late. Like, it was added after the Extended Edition was made. Which is really all that they did that. Oh, that's ominous. So they just, look how these reused destroyed rams. Yeah, these cutscenes are horrendous. You can tell there's a real just the quality goes way down. Oh no, not salamanders. As you can tell, are just obviously crocodiles. Well, at least are animations. Well, let's just say China is uh, not doing so great. I think it's fair to say. What? <laughs> also the South mixing, Jesus. Oh, the South mixing is so bad! Not really, this is so bad. Okay, what the hell? Wow, you can't hear a word they're saying. Age of Mythology. So the Chinese faction, they were added like later, after the extended edition was released onto Steam. And it was only made by like a few of the original uh, creators. And honestly, it feels like a mod. I'm gonna fiddle around with the in-game sounds and redo this entire intro just to see if it fixes you can hear it. I'll be right back. Nope. It seems completely hard coded, and the sound is the the background music is just loud regardless. So I guess we're just going. Like I said, this uh, whole campaign was not that great. So let's have some fun with it. Greetings, strangers. What is your business in this place? It's a bit land? better. That's because we the music is loud. Emperor Yao to oversee the efforts to be made against the Great Flood. I am Shun. I have been placed in charge of the dam construction. We need all the support we can get to prevent this cataclysm. Okay. All right. Uh, build the garden. Oh, those were not villagers. By the flood, in order to sustain a steady income of resources. Cool. So the Chinese faction, first of all, they were made very ugh. These halberdiers are just... I, mean, I don't know. This faction is also extremely overpowered, honestly. Like, it's just not balanced properly at all. It's really kind of boring and uninspired god powers too. Not bad, just uninspired. Like this. Great journey. It just increases the speed of units, it makes them faster. And uh, this revives fallen villagers. Not bad, just uninspired. I feel. Okay, don't need to loop that, honestly. 
Okay, we get some uh, stuff going. So we want us to build a garden. That we can do. So the the Chinese faction gained favor through gardens and only through gardens. Let's put up one garden. Another thing that's really annoying with the gardens is they will like red out and become unavailable while one is being built. But once it's done, you can build another one. So you can't queue them up, which is honestly kind of annoying. A acupuncture. Uh, I want to generate health. Not bad, honestly. If you're getting attacked a lot. That could be really useful. Uh, trying to build a dam. So, we gotta fix the dam before the flood show up. The dam. We gotta get a bunch of humans, a bunch of, uh, what are these guys called? This faction? Peasants. We need to get a bunch of peasants to build that, but first we need to get our economy stable. And we're gonna get, going to get attacked, like, constantly by uh, war salamanders. What is this thing? Oh, here's one they say. I heard, I heard them mention it. But I don't know where it is. There they are. Let's get inside for now. There we go. They're lizards. They're not war salamanders. These are lizards. They're just called lizard. But nothing like fancy. Or... Oh, they just looped the same dialogue twice. Well done. Get you guys over here. Let's get a few of them over there. Oh, that's that. That's a war salamander. This one? Yeah, she's facing this one. I don't need to get everybody not working just because. Let's keep walking. And it should be fine. There we go. Take the worst on the man down. Also, th that's just crocodile. Like, its animations is literally just a crocodile. You can get on that. Let's. I want to get this. Uh, so they can heal. So the little damage they've taken will come back eventually. If nobody on gold. They should fix that. Oh, that's the uh, food done. Okay, let's get some people on wood. Oh. By the way, we did have warriors here. Wow, these are uh, not very strong, the halberdiers, these, against these guys. Alright, we should probably put up some walls, honestly. I can't build walls. Well, isn't that just peachy? Absolutely amazing and peachy and happy and bleh. Guess we get to put up towers, which we can't do either. We don't have the gold. Yeah, I need to. I'm really strut on resources, and I gotta get to that fast as I can. Uh, population's gonna be an issue. Cool. And it's gold. Which we always almost have enough of. There's some food gatherers over here. We got more salamanders on the inside coming in. Well, lizards, not salamanders. Oh, you can't eat this. Kill it! Ugh, okay. That's really annoying. I need to build up a force to protect these areas. You really, really do. That's all there is, and it's just more. I need to get... More stuff, because they're just gonna constantly come after me, I would imagine. 
Um, so we're gonna need get Immortals. Immortals is the only, not, not the only, but probably the better of the hero units for the Chinese. And I can't build them because I need housing. Oh my banana, they just, they just keep coming, do they? And I can't build walls, so I can't be sneaky and cheeky about it. One, uh, two, three, four. Okay, that's what we get. They're putting this stuff here to block my shit? That's just mean. Immortals, there we go. No, Immortals, you're supposed to fight. Okay. This isn't going very well. Why are the, the Shikonus getting close? There's about the range units. Yeah, these aren't really doing anything over here. This is nothing is coming this way. Oh, I don't have any resources. Okay. Alright, he's really hurt though. Yeah, so they seem to be coming from two directions. Uh, so we need to put up a force on those two directions. They need this. Just not, never have enough resources. Uh, that probably is because I'm getting attacked literally constantly. Which doesn't help. We need so many more people working. Okay. That's... To fix up the dam. Um. Let's get medium upgrade because we need it. Need these upgrades like now. Fishing is doing his fishing thing. The real problem here is not the f is not food. It's gold and wood. That's what I want. Heavier focus on that. Do that instead. Now I have plenty of food, so let's get a few more of these guys going. This side does have the heroes, so they should be doing a lot better. Okay, I don't know how many of these I have to build, I'm assuming all of them. Cool. Should probably, can we get a temple up? I can't build a temple. That's just peachy, isn't it? So nice and fun and peachy. I might have to build a makeshift wall. I could do that. Just grab this person and we make a makeshift wall. Better than nothing. Oh, there's another thing about the war salamanders. They are amphibian. Which means they will attack on water as well. So this is probably where we really lose our fishy boats. Because I don't think building warships is even worth it. But he can blow them away, which is something. Um, okay. More wood, please. We can put down this 
here somewhere. Alright. Fishy boat, fishy boat. Keep exploring, fishy boat. Um, what was more? We need more gold. We are trapped. Optional rescue the trapped peasants. I that's on these islands. I'm assuming. I don't think I want to do that though. I feel like this is a huge waste of time. And the, they deserve to die. That's odd. Like, I'm pretty sure the immortal heroes are supposed to be able to um, shoot from a distance. You know, fire. They have a bow, after all. Why can't they? They're supposed to be able to shoot. I'm not sure why they're not shooting. Uh, Wukong makes your halberd stronger. Son Wukong, you say? He's a cool guy. Yeah, those. I'm not really expecting to see those come back. Uh, let's get crenellations and some of these. We need the all the defense we could possibly get. And you guys get over there. I want some archers. Even though we got all these dudes on wood, we're not really making much wood. Yeah, well, that's just how we lost that, because I can't really protect it. Alright, uh, you? We need to put up some stuff over here. Make another makeshift wall. The other gold's over there, which is a really bad location. This is gonna run out real soon. Alright, that's gonna finish. I mean, we're not really using favor because I can't build a temple. I don't see a temple here. So we might switch this to wood. You can use the same things to get other resources. Maybe food. I mean, you can build another one. They will slowly trinket uh, resources to you. So they're like tiny pl uh, plenty vaults, which are pretty neat. But they don't give you really that much. Yoshima Fumfu indeed. Once you're done with that, I want you to farm. And you, once you're done with this, farm as well. That's great. Sorry about that, I got a call. So I was gonna have to answer that and then... Uh, yeah, so we're right back where we was, essentially. I didn't really skip anything. We have all the upgrades here, which is nice. We can age up, which would be lovely. Because aging up would only benefit me. Okay, we've got a lot more people now on this. Gold is going to become a real problem real fast. So we can build markets, like, already. We're only in the second age, but we can build markets already, which is interesting. Usually you can't at this age. And it's calm now, which I like. It's too bad I can't build temples, because temples gives me access to monks. Monks can heal, and it would be really nice to keep my groups healthy here. Is it interesting how the Shuko News only shoot one arrow? Even though they're supposed to shoot multiple? And this animation is just the... Uh, I don't remember, remember what they're called, because it's a Greek unit, but like it's a Greek crossbow unit. And these guys are just basically the same thing. Shamashi. <sighs> okay, good. Uh, yeah, let's just get to work, I guess. You can get that one. Let's get this guy. I want him to put up a makeshift wall as well. Right here. Uh, yeah, like, like so, and then get back to work. More lizards. 
You might want to refill the ranks over here. There we go. Excellent, excellent. This could be nice. We got people that. There we go. There goes the uh, the gold that we had. It's probably not safe, but we're gonna have to maybe have to try. That doesn't feel safe, but I might have to try. So we will head to the water to build a dock. That so far is only in 14 minutes. Did we build a dock down here? Somewhere? There? And we should try to sneak over. Hopefully it'll, it'll, it'll work out. There we are. Cool. This mission's kind of slow. Not much happens. You're supposed to build these and uh, not much more, honestly. Cool. Uh, transport ship, how many good are you? Eight. Should be good. You guys put up I'm on the market so you can buy gold at least. Come on, boaty boat. I need your assistance. And we're pop capped, so I can't get their assistance. Great. There we go, we have to kill someone off. We can get this. Let's see how safe this is, because I don't think this is safe. Honestly, I don't know how safe this is, but we're gonna have to mine as long as we feel like. Oh, yeah, it's not safe at all. Stupid lizards, man. We lost one. Wasn't there eight of them? Right, whatever. So now we can buy gold, so we're gonna sell. Food and some... There we go. Um, we can't get myth units, so I'm gonna focus on this stuff. Navy, economy. Oh, we economy. So we're gonna go for uh, Dabu Gong. I'm very unfamiliar with Chinese uh, gods and such. So it's not really getting much for here. But at least this side seems to be doing well, especially if the lizards are ignoring them. They can just slaughter them, which is great. Excellent stuff. Yak caravans. I mean, it's a, it is a source of gold, but it's not a good one because it's too close. And we we'll use up a lot of population. I think just buying gold at this point would be better. How's this going? Yeah, damn. <laughs> damn. That's pretty cool, man. This, this is working out. All those upgrades. Uh, there. We got the upgrade here, and we got the upgrade here. So it all finish in about the same time. Oh no, this makeshift wall is not proper. No, it is. This little stone is blocking. It is proper. Ah, good. Come on. Uh, yeah. Die, lizard! This wall is proper. What's this? Imperial examination. Target anywhere to make all your buildings and units construct and train faster. Uh, in a pinch, I guess. But, and then again, just uninspired and kind of boring for a uh, god power. 
Though there are some really overpowered and a lot better god powers available to the Chinese. The, a lot of the early ones are really uninspired and kind of boring. Yeah, it's good. Just uh, keep not attacking my dudes. Just keep getting distracted. Excellent. Million War Academy unit to improve his... Yeah, let's get that. Uh, you go there. Oh, upgrades. Yeah, just go over there and get that done. Yeah, this mission is annoying because of all the attacks, but because it's basically a defense mission, not much actually happens. I guess I could talk about something. Uh, this faction is just, ugh. I, say, I know I've said it a bunch of times and I'm just repeating myself, but the fact that this faction feels like a mod with a lot of reused assets, not only reused assets from Asian Mythology, but from like Age of Empires 3, there's a bunch of reused a assets. It really is just reuse asset the uh, the game. Probably oh, shouldn't have done that. Oh, there's way too many of them. Let's get back into it. You know, arrows. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Get over here. Oh, that means we. Uh, replace those guys. I can even build more now because we aged up. Let's get fortified as well. Make your villagers prosper by reducing the time it takes to train peasants. Not that useful right now. Oh, yeah. Venturing out there was definitely a mistake. I shouldn't be doing that. Okay, cool. Keep going back to Cottonwood. Get a little bit of extra defense on the side. This side has the heroes, and there doesn't seem to be as many attacks on the side. And mostly lizards, so I feel like it's probably fine. Uh, Double Gong increases the rate of which gardens generate. Sure. Shit, if it would. And I put down like another garden here. Because why not? Get four immortals, which is probably plenty. It's doing well. Uh, we'll probably finish these before. Yeah, lesser flood shows up. Which would be preferable. I don't want to get flooded. Great Flood is a god power in this game, and is honestly one of the strongest god powers in the game. Okay, this looks great. This is, that. This is this one left, huh? A few of them can't actually work on it, so we put them on something else. How about food? There you go. Uh, get back wood. I don't know why the immortals aren't firing their uh, arrows. You should be doing that. You have a range attack. I don't know why not using it. There we go. Down goes Salamander. It is interesting to have you fight War Salamanders so early, because War Salamanders is a heroic age myth unit. So they're actually not, they're like halfway kind of powerful. But at least now we have some, have all the upgrades we can get, so we can kick most of things asses pretty easily. Kick most of things asses, that is proper language that I speak. Sure. Never know when you need it. I might not. They're not really attacking buildings, but if they start doing that, we have some... A little more time to protect them. We can get masonries. 
Masons. Mas Masions. Yep. This is doing all right. Not really worried about this. Uh, very, very slow first episode, I gotta say, because of how the the mission is just as like this. Another problem of the uh, this campaign specifically is that in every single mission, you basically have to build from scratch, more or less. You, you basically always start in the first or second age. You always have to build up. So it just makes them like artificially kind of just artificially longer for like no reason. This guy's almost dead. At least we got help ideas in the front. This faction is really, also really overpowered. And the reason it's overpowered is, it's a lot of reasons, really. But one of the biggest ones is actually the fact that their cavalry is really good. Their cavalry is amazing. And for this mission, I decided to just not use cavalry at all. So... Like, whatever, man. Like, this side is so because these two guys will slaughter everything that comes his way. And they, these guys heal casually. So, I'm not worried about this side at all. And they have archer support, so like, no problem. Uh, why do we use this? There's gotta be corpses around. I think there has to be corpses on the ground for it to work. Yeah, let's just do that. Now they move faster. I guess they could get a little bit of extra work done. Um, maybe get to this forest instead. Though I don't think this is gonna last much longer now. We have made it. Yeah. Is complete. There we go. Bada bim, bada boom. This thing is a war salamander from the underworld. That must mean that Yin and Yang are no longer in balance. They were in balance. You should travel to the west and seek the help of Wise Man Z. He will know what to do. I like they were still building and stuff. Me to come with you to do my duty to the Emperor. Very well. Gather your provisions. We move north at first light. Just gonna stand in this guy's farm. Ah, he probably won't mind. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you're playing that now? Okay. Thank you for joining me for this episode. I'll see you on the next one where we go to... I wasn't actually paying attention. Oh, the, the, the place they were talking about. Okay. Bye-bye.